Hello everyone and welcome to the Kid Investor Series. Today, I'll be giving you five tips on how to make and save money as a teen. Number one, sell the old things that you don't need anymore. Old video games, old clothing, old scooters, old bicycles, etc. Anything that you don't need anymore. You never know how much money you can make off of them. Number two, when you do your chores, Every time you do a chore, ask your mom and dad for an allowance. Every time you mop the floor, every time you take out the trash, every time you wash the plates, just ask your mom or dad for one or two dollars. You never know how it could add up or even help you in the years. Number three, create or make a small business. A lemonade stand, a lip gloss business, anything that's in your niche that you might want to do. Create a business out of it a way that you can make money. For me, I started sewing. My mother taught me sewing, but at some time I quit and I said I wanted to do content. I thought that sewing could help me make passive income, but I know that YouTube was much more flexible for me. And YouTube helps me create passive income for myself. Number four, any money that your grandparents gives you, use it to save or invest. No, our grandparents are pretty great. Our grandma, our grandpa, they like giving us money, especially on our birthdays or our graduation days. So why not save that or invest it instead of spending money on other things? One investing app that I truly, truly recommend is Fidelity Youth Account. That's the, that's the personal account that I use, and it's for teens, 13 to 18. Number five, sell candy or snacks at school. But warning, in my school, they don't allow candy and snacks, and so may your school too. But people still store it secretly behind the scenes to avoid getting in trouble. Number six, during the spring or summertime, you could cut grass or do some yard work for your neighbor. But be careful. You got to know your equipment well and make sure that you're making all the safety measures so that you don't get injured. Number seven, when your neighbor is on vacation, ask them if you could watch over their dogs or walk their dogs during the day for some pay. You never know how much money you could also make off of that. So those are my five or more tips for you. Please like and subscribe. And remember, knowledge is light. See you in the next one.